Welcome to Book Time with Bo Lachelle. I will be reading an insert from the Dalai Lama's little book of inner peace. The Master Cook. When I was young, I was very fond of the Master Cook. I loved him so much. I always wanted to be with him. Even if this meant just being able to see the hem of his gown below the curtains, which serves as room partitions in Tibetan houses. Luckily, we tolerated, he tolerated my behavior. He was virtually bald, very gentle and simple. He was not a very good storyteller and he did not like to play much, but these things did not matter at all. Since then, I have often wondered about the nature of our relationship. Sometimes I think that food is an essential ingredient in every type of relationship between living beings. Next chapter on my studies. My life was strictly regulated I studied twice a day for one hour each time, spent the rest of the day playing. Then at age 13, not 12, not 11, I was obliged to do the same studies as any monk preparing for a doctorate in Buddhism. There were 10 subject areas of which the five higher subjects are the art of healing, number one, Number two, Sanskrit. Number three, dialects. Number four, arts and crafts. And finally, number five, the philosophy of religion. The five secondary subjects are poetry, astrology, dramatic arts, literary style, and language studies. Page 20, my studies were not well balanced and did not meet the trinity needs of anyone who was to become a national leader in the 20th century. They were based on a routine, but I got used to it. Occasionally I would have holidays and they were happy times. Lop Singh Sam Tan, my older brother, would come to visit me. Sometimes my mother would also come and bring me a loaf of the thick and delicious bread that is a specialty of Amdo province. She would bake it herself. Lozer, the New Year festival. The most important festival in the year is Lozer, the New Year. Celebrated in February or March of the Western calendar, for me, Lozer meant my yearly meeting with Nechong, the state oracle, who would offer me, and the government, as a whole, the opportunity to consult the Tibetan deity Dorshi Drakten about the year to come. Contrary to what people might imagine, the role of an oracle is not confined to predicting the future. They are approached as protectors and healers, to the, and their primary mission is to help people to practice the Dharma that is the Buddhist teaching. In the past, Tibetan... Oh, I think... I think it is about time to go. And in closing, we should all read this book because it's a national treasure of our hearts everywhere. And that's my reading today. Thank you very much and have a great, wonderful weekend. Thank you, Dalai Lama. Thank you, Dalai Lama. Listen.